Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. So, there be some stuff that we got in this room. Remember that Jiggy that appeared in Grunty's eyeball? Well, we're gonna have to do this rigmarole again with the whole running shoes and flight pad again. Aren't you looking forward to being hit by snowballs all day long? I sure am and yeah, he didn't throw any snowballs. <laughs> That's pretty nice, okay. So, alright, get ready to do this all over again. Because this is associated with another thing. Go, 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 go! <laughs> oh, shoot, I hope I didn't waste time there. Because I went and hit the wall on my approach. Gah! Okay, I managed to do it. And get ready to beak bomb. Yeah, but you cannot beak bomb the other one, though. You'll just slam your face into it. It's solid as a rock, so uh, let's just leave that. <laughs> Alright, there's another one taken care of. Now... Uh, now I'm gonna take some fall damage, yeah! Because apparently that's just high enough. <laughs> now what I'm gonna do is go up through this way. Remember that we raised the water level in the last parts? Well, we're gonna see the fruits of our labor now, because... It actually does important stuff. I don't know how the water doesn't leak out of there and into the other room, but I probably shouldn't question it. Let's put it that way. <laughs> so, okay, now going through here. Oh boy. There it is. Oh no. Arceus, this is it. This is the part that I start World 8. Oh no. Oh no. And it's right here, right behind that hatch. Oh, it's coming, and I'm sweating bullets. But in order to reach that, we've got to kind of, kind of break this open. I actually got to, yeah, beak barge. Wait, actually, maybe I don't have to beak barge. We are just at the slam. Ah, oh, whatever. Okay, so we raise the water. It gives us access to that spot up there. And this world is gonna test you like no world has tested you thus far, because this is the place that pretty much ruined my sanity as a kid when I played this game. Let's <laughs> just put it that way. Over here, that's it. I, I can't do it, I can't do it, I've gotta go over here first and show you something here. This is the hint that we seen earlier on when we unlocked World 7. Uh, remember this right over here? Yeah, we can actually see... Uh, yeah, there, there's a little grating there that separates the worlds. To, wait, actually, no, that was... Wait, wait, wasn't that Bubble Gloop Swamp, actually? I might be getting my areas confused there. Well, yeah, that was just a hint grate, basically, to say, hey, there's more going on here, and it's, it's completely useless otherwise. <laughs> Okay, here we are. Oh no, I just... It begins... It begins whether I like it or not. There it is. The portrait. We gotta put the pieces in. It's known as Rusty Bucket Bay. And it's the most painful, hardest world in the game. So hard of a world, in fact that some people decide to do the next world after this before doing Rusty Bucket Bay because they decide to just put it off because it's just that freaking annoying and difficult. Arr! There it is! There it is! <sighs> and I am not pleased. Not in the slightest, but I will do my best. To hopefully do this without a death. In fact, I'm gonna be doing the most notorious room first and then just hoping that I don't die on the rest of the stuff. So here we go. Oh! Oh, the cramps! I'm feeling them! <laughs> here we are, world eight. And I'm gonna start by going across here. Now, I see that flotation ring. It's alive. It's known as Flot Sam, or Float Sam, whatever you want to call it. And yeah, you can just rat-a-tat wrap it out of existence. And uh, 
I'm feeling dizzy. Because we're starting... No. Yes, I, we are starting, but I, I can't... I can't bring myself to terms starting this. It just, just seems too vicious. No. No, and by the way, this is the only invincible enemy in the game? Yeah, there's actually an invincible enemy here. And, uh... It's known as Grimlet, and it attacks you when you get close enough. <laughs> I was just waiting for it to do that. So, yeah. Uh, I don't know if I'm, I should even bother getting those notes at the end of that there, because, well, we could die very easily in this upcoming room here. So I came over to this side here. This, this ship is the rusty bucket, as you can tell. And I came over here first, because I want to start the most notorious evil room in the entire game. And in order to start it, you've got to come down here. Oh, and here's a Sailor Grublin. Yeah, just grab a tat, wrap it out of existence. A couple notes around here. See that? This is it right here. Oh, RCS. The engine room. It still exists. I was hoping it would glitch out of existence in the emulator and I, I wouldn't have to do this. But no, it's there. Oh! Hitting that switch will slow it on the fans and allow us to start that room. Ah, uh, I'm getting sick. So sick. Uh, but I must. I must 100% this. And believe me when I say this, this world is going to test your patience like crazy. However much you're willing to be masochistic to 100% this game, this will be the test for you right here. So it begins. Alright, I'm gonna hop down here and carefully flutter into this hole right here because there's a secret empty honeycomb right there. It's easy to get, but uh, this room, that's the only thing that's easy here. Prepare yourself for pain because if you fall off anywhere here into that foggy, gooey abyss down below, it's instant death. And it's very, very easy to fall off anywhere around here, so prepare yourself for pain and do not rush any of these things. You want to make sure that you're in talent shot mode when you're going across these spinny things because, yeah, they're pretty slippery and also wait for them to completely stop before you make your landing. And those mumbo tokens, get them if you dare. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. I don't think I'm going to get them just because I'm gonna save my sanity as much as I can, but if you dare get them, you gotta do a f actual flap- OH NO YOU DON'T! <laughs> you gotta do a flap flip jump to get them, and that's what makes those mumbo tokens very dangerous to get. In fact, they're pre pretty, uh, Kaizo-like to get, in fact. So, okay, we made it through one seg segment of it, and this is the thing that we've seen from the other side there, yep. So we gotta hit this switch and a switch on the other side, and uh, ah, that's another thing about this engine room is we gotta work our way back over there eventually, and it's not going to be pretty, let me put it that way. <laughs> those fans, I should say those rudders, I should say that, pr propulsion, oh no, no I don't want to do that. Um, we're guarding that Jiggy, our one-hit kill, when they reactivate after a timed event. Yeah, a timed event. Uh, I am not looking forward to that. That's why I'm doing this right now. Uh, and by the way, those fans also can hit you. Those ones that are spinning even, you know, the ones that we knock down the speed of. Yep, they can still hurt you. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Oh no 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 no! <laughs> <laughs> All right, the worst might be over. Maybe, maybe. All right, I got this jiggy at least. So even if I die, I don't have to come back to the center. Except for those notes. Yeah, I still have to come back over there to get those notes if I should die. So still not over yet. And time yourself well and true. Okay. <laughs> it, and believe me when I say this, it takes a lot of practice to pull that off. And also time yourself to hit that when that's turning around. Uh, like just about to stop so that you'll have maximum amount of time to pull this off. 
you see that? Now we gotta get ourselves across there and over to those rudders in under 65 seconds. Best of luck, man. Best of luck. <laughs> Alright. Get across here. My hands are just like tingling right now because I actually managed to pull this off on my first try, but okay. Go, 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 go. Dear Lord, do not fall off either. I do not want to have to do that fan thing over. Okay, kill these guys, do not forget to kill those guys on your way back. Alright, now we gotta get ourselves to the back of the ship. I hope you paid attention to where that was when you went over to the back of the ship to do the engine room rigmarole, which was back over here. Now we gotta jump in this oily water, which is something else in and itself. While we're underwater, it uses double our air, and on top of that, it, we also use air up on the surface. Yeah, um, I, I can't believe I managed to pull this off, but I pulled it off. <laughs> I can't believe I did it! And yeah, once it turns off those rudders to, of propulsion, you gotta get there in time, and if you don't get in and out of there, it's a one-hit kill, and you will not be happy with that. And this oily water might very well be the death of you as well, so let's not mess around with this and get this precariously placed Jinjo under the oily water. I'm going to completely ignore those eggs. They are not worth it in the slightest. Oh, no, 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 don't get stuck. Don't you dare get stuck, because it's very easy to die under there, trying to get out of there. Now, you see, I'm losing air even at the surface. That's what the oily water does. Oh, and here's a boom box, because it's a TNT box that explodes when it touches you. Get it? Boom box. Yes. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna get these notes and head back the other way, I suppose. <sighs> okay, so far, I am making it, even though my hands are shaking like a leaf. <laughs> but I'm still making it. Uh, nice, some rare, rare details on the crates. Oh, there's only eggs there. Not that important. Alright, now I'm gonna go around this way here before I go over to the ship itself. And you're gonna want to fill this up with four eggs, not just two. You'll see why in just a second here. See, it only opens so far, and you, you can't get that stuff right there if you do that. There you go, two more eggs. Uh, what the heck? Four eggs? I thought... Okay, so I guess it's six eggs. Hmm. I thought it was four eggs that we needed for that, or maybe I was thinking four for the aftermath. I don't know. Well, anyway, there is... Yeah, if you took the other way, you know, if you had that against the wall, you'd have to deal with ye ol' Champa. And also in here... I'm gonna get this out of the way. Oh, boy. Yeah, we gotta go underneath the oily water here. But that's, that's eventually. Let's do one thing at a time as carefully as we can. This is the only way to get this jiggy up here, by the way. At least I think it's the only way to get that Jiggy up there. And I'm gonna work from the top down. And, oh, no, no, I just wanna carefully get up there. And plop over here, there we go. Chompa, of course, anytime you see one of those grills. Okay. We're doing well, so far. No need to panic. <laughs> Even though I'm really nervous right now. This world... Just speaks of bad childhood memories. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. Ah, I think that's... Yeah, this this room isn't that dangerous, but it's the thing of that... I don't want to redo anything that I can, so I'm trying to stay at tip-top health, if at all possible. Alright, want to go under the water. And I kind of automatically did that when I hit the crate. Because it makes me swim faster. And we're gonna automatically be underwater when we exit the store for some reason, which is a guaranteed way to lose one honeycomb each time you lose uh, each time you leave that area. Now we gotta get ourselves air before we do the next thing, which is also right over here. So let's get ourselves back on dry land here. And now I think the best way to do it is to do it over, over, over. Here first, actually. Um, yeah, right here. I want to go 
and jump off this corner to give myself as much air as possible. See, there's a stranded dolphin underneath this anchor here, and I want to give myself as much air as possible, as I said. And I'll give you the bit of dialogue here. Oh no, it's trapped on the anchor! I will help you, Snorkel. But I will help you in the next part. So I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part after this black screen transition.